Okay, Brittany, that knee looks a whole lot better, but next time you ride your bike, watch where you're going. Laverne, do we really need all this? Well, I'm enjoying it. So, darling, what you gonna be on Halloween? A monster. Oh, a girl monster. I like it. There's not enough girl monsters around. They've all taken up nursing. Here you go. Your official Dr. Harry Halloween treat. Sugar-free and salt-free. Not to mention taste-free. <laughs> you want the real good stuff, you come trick-or-treat at my house. And here's the address. Thanks. Roar! Back at you. Yeah. Well, Laverne, it sounds like you're going to have a big crowd. Well, I always do. Since Nick and I never had young'uns of our own, we always went a little overboard on Halloween. Well, that's nice. I intend to keep up the tradition. Of course, it'll be an incredible burden not having someone to help and all. Just me, myself, and I. All by my lonesome. Solo. Well, that's nice. You don't take hints very well, do you, Doctor? Well, no, the very sister, I'm not much of a Halloween person. I see. So that promise you made about always being there for me when Nick left, what was that? Just another one of your cruel jokes? All right, what time do you want me there? Uh, you better come around by six. Now, let's talk about what kind of costume you're going to wear. Laverne, I hate costumes. I'm not going to wear anything. <laughs> We're trying to scare them, Doctor, not kill them. Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Weston. No problem, Virgil. You know that ironwood tree we've been having problems with? I found out the reason. I know, I know. It's too much loam in the soil. No, ironwoods don't grow in Florida. <laughs> oh, so uh, what's the solution? Well, I planted a mulberry tree instead. Okay, and you think it's going to do okay? No, too much loam in the soil. <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks, Virgil. Anyway, uh, this is the stuff you wanted for your costume? Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, just a little medical bag, a stethoscope, a head mirror, and uh, the number of a good malpractice attorney. <laughs> thanks. You owe me $85. <laughs> Very good. You're getting into the roll. No, that's the bill for the extra loan. Oh. <laughs> I'll wear leather boots, a black mask, and carry a whip, and you'll be some kind of animal. You better be talking about Halloween. Yes. No. I thought we decided not to go to that party. No, you decided not to go. Right, because I can't stand Halloween. Oh, you sound just like Daddy. How can you not like Halloween? Well, because I've always been jinxed on Halloween. Oh, Patrick, I can't believe you're that superstitious. No, it's true. When I was five years old, my mother dressed me up in my sister's Little Orphan Annie costume. I got beat up. <laughs> Two years later, I was dressed as Superman, and Little Orphan Annie beat me up. Poor baby. The worst was when I was eight years old, and my brother dressed me as Barry Goldwater and tossed me out of the car in a liberal neighborhood. <laughs> It's not just a party. It's the party. The hottest, most exclusive affair of the Halloween season. Oh, okay, I got a great idea for a costume. You get dressed up, you put your arm out like this, and you attach a man's glove to it. What will you be? The guy in the glove. 
the Invisible Man. <laughs> that means I won't be there. Would you think of all the contacts we can make? Besides, best costume wins a free vacation to Curacao. Oh, please go. Please, 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 please. I want this more than anything else in the whole world. All right, all right, I'll go. Oh, thank you. Oh. But don't feel you have to do this just for me. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Spanish fly. <laughs> Charlie, I'm sorry your date stood you up, but you can't blame the woman for going on her honeymoon. <laughs> well, if I knew she was going to break the date, I wouldn't have been their best man. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, that's supposed to be for the kids. Harry, relax. The kids will get their treats and your house won't get egged. Well, thanks for helping me out, and uh, I'll be at LeBron's if you need me. If you run out of candy, there's an extra bag in the pantry. Actually, that was the extra bag. <laughs> You owe me big time for this, Carol. I feel like a jerk. Oh, Daddy, tell Patrick he doesn't look like a jerk. Patrick. So what time does the party start? Aren't you gonna guess who we are? No. I'll give you a hint. I won the Nobel Prize for this, my elemental discovery. Congratulations, there. Come on, LeBron's waiting for me. Okay, I'll give you one more hint. <laughs> I'm Madame Curie and Patrick's radium. <laughs> what do you think, Daddy? So, what time does the party start? Let's get out of here. I'm starting to itch. Bye, Daddy. Oh, and Daddy, you don't have to leave a light on for us. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Barbara. Happy Halloween, sweetie. How's the undercover going? Great. You, you be careful. Madame Curie and Radium. Yeah, I agree. She should go back to five sessions a week. Uh, but, <laughs> I love you, baby. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. Harry. Why is the toilet seat glowing? Uh, don't ask. Just weird, that's all. No, 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 my little product of the decaying American public school system. I'm Madame Curie, and he's my elemental discovery, get it? Who cares? He's radium, you moron. I won the Nobel Prize. I can't believe he didn't know me. Look, Carol, no one gets it. No one's ever going to get it. For once, can we do what I want to do? Let's get out of here. You know you're not even trying to have a good time? What are you talking about? I'm the half-life of the party. Patrick, this is for your benefit, too. There are important people here. We're not just attending a party. We're networking. Look, honey, it's Mark Twain who gave us such classics as Huckleberry Finn. No, it's Colonel Sanders who gave us such classics as finger licking good. I should have stuck with what I wanted to do. Come as the invisible man so I could stay home. Oh, pooh, we are not leaving. Do you know what I have to go through to get these tickets? Hello, Miss Weston. Virgil? A uh, doctor, Virgil, to you. Hell of a bash, ain't it? All the big shots are here. The mayor's pool man, district attorney's nanny, and Jackie Gleason's ex-cabana boy. Hey, Reefy! I don't understand. Only the most important people buy these tickets. Yeah, that's right, but they think this is stupid, so they give the tickets to their help. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how did you get yours? Uh, from your father, Reefy! Away we go! Oh. Patrick, I feel like such a fool. Good, let's go. No, we're gonna get something out of this party. This costume is gonna win us that vacation. Oh, the only way we're gonna win is if there's a category called, I don't get it. <laughs> Carrie, I love to 
that movie? Isn't that the one where the hand comes up out of the grave at the end? Not Carrie, Curie. I'm Madame Curie. Then why are you with the Incredible Hulk? <laughs> Tell her who you are, Patrick. I'm Radium. Not too close. Get it? No. We are going to win this contest, and I am not just doing this for me, Madame Curie. I am doing this for the honor of all France. You know, I've read that Radium got to Madame Curie's brain in the end. I think you're there already. We've decided upon this year's best costume pair. Pair? That's us, Patrick. The trip to Curacao has been won by Edith Fenton, who is cleverly accompanied by her partner, the Invisible Man. The place looks great. Yeah. <laughs> You're doomed, Doctor. Don't remind me. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, you did a real good job. Real nice. It's okay. It's... Pretty scary, huh? Laverne, I'm a doctor. Skeletons don't scare me. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. We don't have much time to rehearse before the kids show up. Here's your script. Script? Script? You're Harry. Boo? Kids of the evening. Okay, doctor, am I creepy enough? Is that a rhetorical question? Okay, just, just get out of my way and open the door. Okay, come on, come on. Trick or treat! Well, oh, hi, you guys look great. A treat? You dare sneak in here and ask me for a treat? I think I should get a treat. So, where's the Fu Manchu guy? Pardon? <laughs> you know Nick. I want to see him pull that stuff out of his ear like he always does. Oh, well, Nick's kind of out of the picture now, but this here is Scary Harry, and he's tons more terrifying than Nick ever was. <laughs> That's your cue, Doc. Boo? Can we have our treats now? Mm. Yeah, we have to get over to a real scary house on McDonnie Street. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Wow, help you are. Come on, Doctor, it's Halloween. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Maybe I could get a little more involved. Okay, try to keep the energy up this time. Okay, okay. Trick or treat. <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Why don't you head over to McDonnie Street? I hear there's a house guaranteed to scare your spots off. Gee, thanks. Mm. Okay. Come on. <laughs> That's it. If I can't scare these young'uns, I might as well turn in my nose wart. <laughs> Sorry, didn't work out, Laverne. See you tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> that was another hint. What? What do you want me to do? Well, okay, how about you let me dress you up? How about I don't? <laughs> Where are we? What do you mean, where are we? You said make a left at the light. I made a left at the light. I should have listened to myself. Why did I listen to you? Is there something wrong with my Hyundai? My beautiful Hyundai? We're out of gas. Out of gas? Out of gas here? How can that be? I just put two dollars in. Two whole dollars? Where are you going? There's got to be a gas station around here somewhere. Bring the radio. Patrick? What about the CD changer in the trunk? A little louder, Carol. <gasps> was that a black cat that just crossed our path? Yeah, it, it was navy blue. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, Carol, no! No, Carol! Yo, they over here! We're gonna die, we're gonna die! Shh. Maybe they won't notice us. We're gonna die. 
If they catch us, I'm gonna act like a crazy person. A man on Donahue said that if they think you're deranged, I'll leave you alone. That's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. You don't know anything about handling situations well, like this. Come out wherever you are. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Radium and Madame Curie. <laughs> Your West Side Story, right? Right. <laughs> hey, bro. Yo, mama. You decent us? Skippy hates being white. <laughs> the money now. And no funny stuff, Radium. <gasps> the voices are back. The voices are back. Look, here come the pretty butterflies. Oh, tell the president his socks are ready. <laughs> are you going to eat that caterpillar? for real? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like everybody we mug saw that Donahue. <laughs> Thank God we're home. Please, Patrick, right now there are criminals laughing at my driver's license picture. Wake up, Charlie. Uh, the front yard's a wreck. Didn't you hand out the candy? Uh, I must have dozed off. All I can remember is this incredible dream. I was getting a tongue bath from a lusty redhead with a runny nose. <laughs> Cool! Free toilet paper! Oh, I'm glad this evening's over with. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. Let me check my priceless family heirloom watch my father gave me for graduate. <gasps> it's gone! Please, Patrick! Oh, hey, it's no problem. I'll just buy another one and charge it on my... <gasps> no wallet! All right, all right. You know, you're not the only one who was robbed tonight. What about my dignity? Dignity? <laughs> I suppose you're saying this is all my fault. Your fault? How could this be your fault? Just because you made me make a left turn on a street where I wanted to go straight, coming home from a party that I didn't want to go to in a costume that I didn't want to wear in the first place? Don't you use a run-on sentence in that tone of voice with me. Carol, this has been one of the worst nights of my life. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. But you know, it might have been worse. How could it possibly have been worse? could have spent Halloween without each other. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm sorry I made this one of your worst Halloweens ever. No, it's okay, Carol. I'm just jinxed on Halloween. Let's just put it behind us. I want the rest of tonight to be wonderful for you. We'll do whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. But I want to kick back and have my beer. Well, that's a good idea, honey. Or... Or nothing. <laughs> Every time I've listened to you tonight, it's been a total disaster. I was just going to say that we could go into the garage instead of sitting here in the kitchen. Oh, is that the ore that you were talking about? Well, uh, come on, I'll light the way. <laughs> That's your first good suggestion all evening. <laughs> Oh, why did I listen to you? I'll get some ice. No, if you say ice, I want heat. Please, sit down. No, I'll stand. Patrick! Call me Jerry. <laughs> Come on, doctor, we got kids the white now, Dad. Laverne, this is ridiculous. I cannot do this. Yes, you can now. Come on. <laughs> I, I'd like to drink your blood. Cool costume. Too bad he had to talk. Oh, hey. Uh, Doctor, you had him in your fangs and you let him go. Laverne, I cannot do this. Are you saying you're a quitter, Doctor? Now, these kids came here to be scared, and you gotta scare them. You gotta scare them high, you gotta scare them low. The big ones and the little ones, the Ninja Turtles, the Ghosts, the Supermans, the Batmans, the General William Tecumseh Shermans. Kids come as General Sherman? Well, not yet, but if one does, I want you to scare the hell out of him. Come on, Doc, you can do it there, I'm waiting for you. I bid you welcome. <laughs> ah, you look like type A blood, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my house. Now, that's the way to do it. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I... Come on. No, I could have I 
have been better with the blood thing. I could have been. Was I scary enough? I was. I was. I wasn't scary enough. Right? And the, the accent. Was it too much? I don't know. You gonna... Okay, I'll get this one. Okay. It is I, Count Dracula, ah, a princess, a mermaid, a ballerina. I love an assortment. Okay, here's your tray. We want Count Dracula to give them to us. Okay, fine. But of course, you ugly hag, come here. Yes, here. Here is for you. The eye of an oot. And for you, the toot of a wolf. That is witch talk, not Dracula. Watch it, we can pitch it a sound. <laughs> now then, my little darlings, come here. Yes, yes, now I have given you something to eat. Now you must give me something to drink. But we don't have anything to drink. Ah, but so do. <laughs> they were little girls. Uh, Any half baked blood sucker can scare a little girls. Ah, uh, come on, I think I did pretty well, Lavarian. Come on. Maybe I should put some ketchup on my teeth. Or do you... I'll get it. No, I'll get it. Why don't you get in the closet and hide, and then you can jump out when they come in and scare them to death? Great idea! Yes. Ah. <laughs> come in, my little pretty. Come on, Levert, what are you doing? That'll teach you to upstage the witch. Levert. <laughs> okay, Doctor, I'll let you out now. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> ah, you locked me in the closet, you bitch. <laughs> well, good evening. <laughs> 